Yo, what's poppin'? I'm here with the start of a new series. This is going to be a look about how the team, how a team missed the kickoff class tournament, or how they got kicked out of it, or how they won it in the case of two teams, um, and a quick look at the future of them in the ma uh, midseason madness. So, starting off with the bottom team in the West, Vancouver Titans tied for last with the Paris Eternal, but they were last because of the strength of schedule tiebreaker. So Vancouver Titans 0-6 with a minus 14 map differential, only winning four maps, um, two against Boston, one against New York, and one against the Shock. Um, other than that, losing 3-0 to London, losing 3-0 to Florida, and losing 3-0 to Atlanta. So not great from them. Of course, Vancouver playing Aspire, Shockwave, and Mirror on DPS. They did have Psycho um, until the end of this stage, I believe, or maybe halfway through it. I don't remember exactly. Uh, Mirror came in halfway through as well. So... There's that. Their only tank is false, and they have Masa on main support with Aztec and Sky Reaper as flex supports. Um, so how did they miss the kickoff clash? They were just awful. Um, <laughs> false was playing Monkey a lot. Aspire and Shockwave weren't playing together all the time. Um, that's, that's the main thing. False not being put onto his characters of choice. And maybe you can argue, oh, well, they need his flex they need him to be flexible, so it's okay. If you lose now and win later, maybe it's okay. But I don't think you have the luxury of doing that, especially looking at you quickly looking at their next matches. I don't see a win coming. So you kind of like it was just a poorly made strategy. And not building a strategy around your players, it's kind of bad that hopefully Depay, the new coach, looks to uh looks to improve on. Of course, Pew and Flubby being dropped after this turbulent stage. And uh, Deepay coming in as the only coach after him being the LA Gladiators coach for the entire way up until this season. Um, I'd say he's been overall successful. Maybe he's not reached the highs expected of the Gladiators. But you can't say he's been an unsuccessful coach in Overwatch League. I don't think so. Um, so, yeah. Just a rough time for the Vancouver Titans uh, in this kickoff clash. Uh, moving forward into midseason madness, we see them play the Gladiators in Houston, then Atlanta, Dallas, and then Shock and Justice. So they play the top four teams uh, from the kickoff clash tournament. Then they play a team that was fifth or sixth, and then they play a team that dropped out first. Uh, if Houston was maybe later in the stage, I could maybe see an argument that Vancouver could improve enough to beat them. I, I could. But because they're first week into the first into the new stage, I don't see I don't see DP being able to turn the team around that dramatically. Uh maybe they can find a win against Justice late, depending on how Justice go, if they don't improve at all, which they might not. Um and seeing how Vancouver play, there is a potential win there, maybe, but I can't see one before that unless Depay instills the rage of being dropped by Gladiators uh, through some sort of life force into the, the players. Uh, then maybe there'd be a crazy upset in Week One. But Depay, maybe while he is, uh, you know, a legend. Uh, with his gifts specifically. I don't see it. Uh, what I would like to see from Dipe and from the Titans moving forward is maybe making sure that Aspire and Shockwave are playing and you're focusing your talents on them and making sure that False is on his comfort characters. You should be probably going for the Zarya comps here. Maybe you're trying to innovate and play D.Va or something. I'm not sure what you want, but you don't want False on Monkey. Your team just doesn't allow it just how it is but you could try mirror on doomfist maybe you see a little bit of that because dpay and mirror both were on the gladiators uh he's made use of mirror doomfist before i can see it happen again but you have to you either have the mirror doomfist or you have the false off tank i think you don't really have a main tank that monkey play was kind of rough from false it was getting okay towards the end but this team is not in a spot where you can have an okay main tank not even okay it was almost okay. You heard, but uh, yeah, the strength of this team comes from Aspire and Shockwave. Both of these players being very talented. Shockwave not not having a 
great career, maybe not what we expected after he came into the league uh, on Titans. After going to Philly, not really working out because of the visa stuff, ending up back here and Aspire after showing pretty good, pretty good looks on the Defiant after coming in as a last second replacement. But these two players, you have to have them in. They have to be put into a position to excel. Uh, another thing, Sky Reaper has not impressed me at all. Maybe I would lean more on Aztec, but I don't know. It's hard to say. And uh, I'm actually not too upset with Masa's gameplay. I know a lot of people are. Or at least, at least I see a lot of people being upset with Masa's gameplay. I think he's been solid. Uh, I don't think he's a cause for concern on this roster, to be honest with you. I think there are far too many holes in far too many different places. And Masa, not a liability here. So, moving forward, I'd like to see Aspire Shockwave be put in a place to carry, really. And uh, we'll see if Deepay can do that. So, if you like this video, drop a like. If you like my content, subscribe. I got daily content, multiple videos a day. Um, comment what you'd like to see from Vancouver. Comment whatever, whatever your thoughts on this team is moving forward or how they played. And uh, have yourself a good one. Deuces.